before the skate park of Tampa started, people had their like a little group of like two or three people and you were just skating in grocery store parking lot. When it first opened in 1993, I think was exactly what you would expect if you gave a piece of property to a bunch of 20 year olds and let them do whatever the hell they wanted to with it. Especially 20 year old skateboarders. So literally about as far away as you can get from the epicenter of skateboarding. It seemed like it was going to be a flash in the pan, as any, I'm sure everybody expected. Anybody up the East Coast who couldn't street skate because there's snow and it's cold as shit, they would drive down. A lot of the guys intended to be there for a couple days. But then there's just the wildest shit happening at night. Then there's a whole list of guys that were introduced and started getting hooked up because of people coming to town. Like Jeff Lenosi, Ed Salego, Ricky Dixon. Steve Brandy, Alan Russell. The skate park at Tampa unified Florida heavily. Tim Von Wern, he was in the early days. Clyde Singleton. I would guess he was probably like 15 when he first started showing up at the park, maybe 16. I know in my mind, I think a lot of people, it was like, oh, it's just like a little contest kid, you know? And so when Andrew showed up, I feel like quickly he kind of like proved himself. Anybody who might have been a hater, like, oh, he's a little contest kid. He didn't skate like a contest kid. He skated like a, and he was little, you know, like this little kid skating like a, like a proper street skater, but like with sick style and like he didn't just frontside flip or backside flip over the hip. He did it like proper. He's quickly, you know, like earned everybody's respect. When it would rain really bad in the summer times, the moat would fill up to be like almost at street level. And then the guys got all on the on the roof of the skate park and jumped off the roof of the skate park into the moat like a diving board. I don't know if that started the idea of doing stuff in the moat, but I, I really can't remember the first moat race. Everybody lines up, like everybody, you know, lines up and watches this thing and cheers it on. It's literally like a college fraternity hazing for a kid to get like a free board. So you kind of had like this heavy New Deal presence at the Skate Park of Tampa. John Montesi was kind of right at the peak of his popularity in skateboarding. So John was skating the park pretty regularly. Then Dave Duran, he gets on New Deal. And then Matt Milligan from Fort Myers, he gets on New Deal. And then Pete Thompson is driving down from North Carolina with Kenny Hughes all the time. Kenny Hughes is on New Deal. So you kind of had like this heavy New Deal presence at the skate park of Tampa. I feel like the way kids might think of vert nowadays um, is different than what it was at that time. A lot of innovation going on and Zitzer and Frazier were like particularly like innovative on coping like uh, lip tricks. Their skating was so sick and such like a like a treasure in my opinion, especially in hindsight, looking back on how rad both of them were and then and then Brian Howard coming in the mix. Um, that it was I feel like a really respected scene worldwide. But, uh... <laughs>